Hey everybody and welcome back, certainly glad you could join me today. In this video we're going to look at creating distance fog using canvases. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for hitting subscribe and clicking the notification icon, that always helps me out and it'll keep you informed when I've uploaded new content. And of course a big thank you to all of my patrons and members, your names will have run across the screen. If you are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon in the description below or you can simply become a channel member by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So what we've got here is a scene laid out and we're going to do two renders. The first one we're going to do is with our canvas because that's the quick and dirty one. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my render settings on the screen and we've gone into the advanced tab of the render settings tab and then clicked on our canvases. And then we've checked the canvases button here so that we now have access to them. And then what we've done is we've added a new canvas and we've changed the type from beauty to depth. And that's all we need to do. Then we're going to hit render. And in the quick time that it takes, which is a matter of seconds in most cases, you'll see a completely white image, but you need to save it. So we'll just say depth test and then we'll hit save like so. And then what we need to do is we need to deselect our canvases and go back to our normal render settings and render the image out as per normal. Once we've got our two completed images, what we're going to do is go into Photoshop and we're going to open our directory where our images were saved. And inside that folder, you will find that there's been some new image and uh, new folders added and depth test canvases should be one of them. And there should be an EXR file inside that folder. So now we've got our EXR file open in Photoshop. What we're going to do is we're going to go to image adjustments, HDR toning, and we're just going to hit yes on the prompt that comes up. And then where it says method, we're going to change that to equalize histogram and hit OK. So once we've got to a level where we're happy, we only need this to be really subtle. So I'm going to copy all of that by hitting Control A and Control C. Then we're going to go to our original image. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer and we're going to fill it with a gray kind of color, a dark gray like so. And then we're going to use this button here to create a new layer mask. Now we're going to come into the channels and we're actually going to select our layer mask and turn it on. I'm going to hit Control V and that's pasted our layer mask onto of that layer and then when we turn off the visibility of the layer mask the red overlay will disappear and we will be left with this and it's a really subtle kind of effect and we're going to change that to hard light just to make it even more subtle and then if you'll notice all it's doing is it's dimming the background the further away that it gets this is just a really good way of separating the background from the foreground as well as using depth of field, which you should really be doing in camera. I know there's a lot of tutorials out there about using canvases to add depth of field in afterwards, but that studio already has the capability to do that. So there's no good reason to actually do it in post-production. But yeah, this is a really good way of just adding that little bit more separation between the foreground and the background and just adding a bit more depth to your image. Thanks very much for watching this guys. I hope you found it useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves guys. Bye.